Glad to have you with us here on Patriots Today. Tyler Jones here with you. Thanks for joining us as we have the latest from Patriots training camp. With over a week in the books now, we're going to take a glance at the winners and losers from training camp for your New England Patriots so far. So without further ado, let's get started with the quarterback position Mac Jones is our first winner on the list. Now, I'll be honest here. Things kind of started a bit slow for Mac Jones in the first practice where he threw an interception and was kind of out of sync of sorts. But since then, he's answered the call very well uh, over the last several practices. And we've heard Belichick say publicly that this is an open competition between him and Bailey Zappi to win the starting quarterback job, but he's getting all the first-team reps. He's looked the part to this point. You see the improvement of him working with Bill O'Brien right now. The way camp has gone, it says otherwise about this being a competition. This is Mac Jones' job to lose. Phil Perry of NBC Sports Boston had this to say. With his competitive snaps, this was on Tuesday, Jones went 10 for 14, which included a stretch of three completions on four attempts in the red zone. The offense, Jones included, seemed fired up with their end-of-practice performance. So if you got everybody fired up, then that's a good sign as well. So Mac Jones, barring injury, I think, is going to be your week one starter. Unless something drastically changes, uh, everything is setting up for Mac to be that guy. I think he's going to start. What do you guys think? Weigh in, tell us what you believe is going to happen in the comments section. Why for yes, in for no, if Mac Jones is going to be the week one starter for the New England Patriots or not. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Folks, you got to subscribe to Patriots Today by Chat Sports as we're talking about your team each and every day with daily news and rumors, mailbags. We got some cool stuff in the works coming up very soon, some live shows, some watch parties as well. This is the place to be if you love the New England Patriots. And you remember uh, a while back when we passed up Texans today in subscribers to become the largest uh, new NFL channel here at Chat Sports? Well, they've got a little bit of momentum going on their own channel, and we're trying to see who can get to 5,000 subscribers first. And I'll tell you this much. With the Patriots playing the Texans next week, we're in a sub-battle with them from now until kickoff. And so... I want to get off to a head start and show them who's boss. Let's see if we can get to 5,000 subscribers here on the channel before kickoff. Subscribe now. You'll be glad you did. Let's take it to Texans today and show them who's boss. Subscribe now, youtube.com slash Patriots today. Next on the winners list, we will turn our attention to Demario Douglas. And we've talked a lot about Demario Douglas here on the channel. He was the day three selection out of Liberty and obviously there's a lot of guys competing for those starting wide receiver positions, and Demario Douglas is making some noise uh, at this point in time with what he's been able to do, and whether it's him showing off his ability as a route runner, we know that he could be a special teams guy. The main goal for Demario Douglas is just making the roster first and foremost, but everything we've heard from players to the media to the coaching staff not just in training camp, but throughout this offseason, he's making a case to get significant playing time and show that he could fit in the slot or have a significant role of sorts within this offense. He even stood out to Javril Peppers. Listen to this from Peppers. Oh, we noticed him. He's out there making plays. Same thing you guys are seeing, but we saw it early on in OTAs. What surprised me the most is his physicality. He's a small guy, but he's tough as nails, and I think that will bode well for him. So we here at Patriots today think that tomorrow Douglas is going to make the 53-man roster. I feel pretty confident in saying that. If you agree with that statement, type T for true. If you disagree with that statement, type F for false, and let us know what you think in the comment section. T for true, F for false, if tomorrow Douglas will make the 53-man roster or not. The next winner on our list is Mac Wilson at the linebacker position. And Mac Wilson is been making some plays and making his presence known in particular when it comes to pass coverage. And to put it simply, you can't have enough good coverage linebackers, right? And Wilson has been showing off those skills so far throughout camp to this point. And Phil Perry of NBC Sports had this to say, the rangy linebacker fell out of Gerard Mayo and Steve Belichick's plans to a degree last season 
After week six, there wasn't a game in which he cracked 25 snaps. But on a pass-heavy day, he stood out. Wilson's athletic ability and coverage has popped before, and it did again on Tuesday. So watch out for more Mac Wilson there. Those are the training camp winners. We'll get to the losers here in just a second. But first, weigh in. Tell us in the comments section. Name a winner from training camp for your New England Patriots. Let us know in the comments section below who you have as a winner so far at this point in time. Let's get to the losers list now. We begin with Kendrick Bourne at the wide receiver position. And you go back to last season. Kendrick Bourne was already in the doghouse with Bill Belichick. And from what we know with where he's at of trying to prove himself and why he belongs on the field, he needs to make a statement of some sorts, right? That the performance needs to show why he deserves to have a significant role in this offense that he can be trusted. Remember, it was just a couple years ago he had over 800 yards receiving, and then last year uh, was kind of just taken out of the equation altogether. Now, Bill Belichick, weighed in, and uh, he said he had some praise, actually, for Kendrick Bourne, which was interesting considering that uh, of what he had said, you know, what the role he had decreased him in recently. Uh, He had some praise for him, but then, again, listen to this. Ahead of Sunday's practice, Belichick praised Bourne for his work this offseason. After the session, Bourne himself claimed he felt the best I've ever felt in between He once again had a quiet practice and for the fourth straight session did not catch a single pass in team drill. So while Belichick might say nice things and Kendrick Bourne might feel a certain way, the truth of the matter is that it's not showing up in practice to this point of not getting involved like he should, making that statement he needs to. We have Patriot sideline hats on sale now. Chatsports.com slash Pat's hats is where you can get these. Got the flat bill, got the throwback. Uh, and then the, of course, uh, baseball cap version as well. And these are hats that you're going to see your favorite coaches and players and personnel staff wear on the sidelines this season. It's part of our new merch that we have on sale now at chatsports.com slash Pat's Hats. You can check out these hats you're seeing on your screen as well as several others as well. One place to get them, chatsports.com slash Pat's Hats to get yours today. You'll be styling and profiling, looking good, representing the New England Patriots as well. Chatsports.com slash Pat's Hats is where you get yours today. Next on our list is Calvin Anderson. And Calvin Anderson, it this has been a bizarre situation uh, for Calvin Anderson. Uh, he landed on the non-football injury list before camp and missed a chance to compete for a starting role. Think about this. With Anderson missing, and we know Brown is limited, Riley Reef and uh, Connor McDermott uh, have been handling the tackle duties the past several practices. Brown should be assumed to be a lock to retake the left, left tackle role when he's ready, leaving two veterans competing for the starting right tackle duties. But with Anderson not out there, and... We don't really know a whole lot, right? Things have been pretty quiet about it. He's missing on an opportunity. Yes, the expectation was that he would be a swing tackle, but there was a chance to show that he could compete for a starting role, and he's just not out there. And when Belichick was asked why, what's going on with Calvin Anderson, he gave a very Belichickian answer. I'm not a medical doctor. I have my doctorate degrees that were honorary, but I'm not a medical doctor. Look, it's always those situations. If everything goes perfectly, then that's one thing. If something comes up, there's a setback, there's a change, then that's something else. So there you have it from Belichick. Uh, Calvin Anderson, uh, we'll see. But so far, a very weird situation of him not being involved at this point. Last on the losers list is where we find Tyquan Thornton. Tyquan Thornton, former second-round pick out of Baylor, And Tyquan Thornton, as he enters year two, there's this expectation of him taking that next step and an opportunity to potentially compete to be the wide receiver one on this roster. But so far right now, through the early days of camp, of reports that we've been told, he's not really capitalizing on this chance to be the guy. And with the Patriots not getting DeAndre Hopkins or bringing in any big-time receiver talent, really other than Juju Smith-Schuster, this should have been a golden opportunity for Tyquan Thornton, and he hasn't really jumped on it at this point. Listen to this from Phil Perry. 
No targets yet again. We're only six practices into camp. Thornton's second season won't be dictated by his first couple of weeks of camp pan out. In theory, putting together a little more in the way of consistent production during these practices would be welcomed by the team. So, those are our losers. Now, your chance. Name a loser from training camp so far in the list. Uh, we've given you a few. Maybe there's some others that come to mind. Let us know in the comment section below. Hit me up on social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and threads at Tyler Jones Live. You can find me there. I'll see you next time right here on Patriots Today.